Welcome back to Doug's Basement Workshop. Today we're talking about the bed of my CNC machine. Yeah, I'm holding it in my hand. It's been a long couple of days. So this is actually take two on this video. My scenes, my recording didn't take the audio. I used my lavalier mic and it didn't work. So we're gonna do this again. So I've been having to flatten the bed of my my machine. You can see where I've had to flatten it several times. It was getting thin. My CNC machine is out here in the barn. It's damp, it's humid. Um, MDF absorbs moisture, it warps it, it bubbles it a little bit. Not a lot, just a hair. But a hair on a machine running on thousands of a millimeter is a lot. When I'm doing 3D carving and I'm doing some of this stuff, it makes a big difference. So I bought the aluminum bed for my CNC machine. Yes, I've seen the videos where people make their own. I'm not a machinist. I am a hobbyist, guys. I'm running a small business. Maybe if I had hours and hours and hours to try and figure that out, I could. I'm sure the people who do machinist work and work with metal all the time can do it much faster. And that's not me. I am not skilled in that. <clears throat> so. I bought the bed. Yes, I know how much it costs. It's sitting behind me on the table. Now, I love it. I've used it. I have got it sitting here, clamped in, or screwed in. My first thought was to disconnect the machine, lift up the rail, take the rails off, take off the old bed, and then put the new bed in, put the rails and everything back together. If I was smart and I had the extra money, I would have bought the kit to upgrade my V or replace my V wheels, my belts all at one time and do the whole machine um, refurbish at one time. I bought the new router because my router was falling apart. I was still using the DW611. That was more important to me than replacing the V wheels. My V wheels are not in bad shape. My belts are not in bad shape. I'm not missing teeth. I'm not having problems with it skipping. I'm not having issues with my machine in that way. I was having issues with my router, so I replaced it. I was having issues with the bed, I replaced it. I do want to replace my V-wheels. That is coming up, and I will be doing that. It is coming, and I will do a video on it. I did a video showing how I stripped the bed and took it apart. Again, there was no audio, so it's really, really horrible, and I don't want to do a voiceover because I do a lot of time talking to the camera and showing and pointing at the same time, and it would have looked horrible. So I'm just going to point out some stuff here. I don't know how well the, the audio is going to work while I'm pointing at stuff. So if it's really bad this time, I'm not going to be on camera pointing, and I'll do a voiceover. Hopefully I don't have to. So these are the screws that I thought I was going to have to take out and take these rails off. I was going to take these V wheels off first, lift this gantry up off, set it aside, take these off, and then take the screws in the bed out. What I ended up doing was carefully taking all the screws out of the wood bed and sliding it out of the end. There's nothing to prevent the board, the bed, from sliding out. So that's what I did. I slid it out and I slid the new one in. I used these as handles, just a couple of the M6 screws M6-1 screws and I just tied some rope around them to make handles. Very simple. So as much as I want to say that this is simple and easy and it was no big deal to do, it was a pain in the neck guys. It really was. I think if I had to do it again, I would have just taken the whole machine apart and put it back together again. It took me hours to put it together the way I did, but it wasn't bad. I lost a lot of clearance when I put the new bed in because I put the struts back underneath the strips, the metal strips. I don't think I need them, but the screws stuck out so far underneath the machine that it would have dug into the table and I would have been sitting on screws holding on the machine instead of sitting on the feet. So maybe some shorter screws and I, when I strip this down I can put some shorter screws in. I think they're the same as the screws for the bed. I'm going to take one out, see if I can find replacement screws that I can fit in there. And I might try doing that. Um, 
I'd like to get that extra, you know, four or five millimeters back. This new bed is awesome. I broke a clamp, and you'll, if you watch my tic-tac-toe video, I'll link it down below. You'll see that I broke a clamp while I was while the the machine was running because I thought I was going to hit the clamp with my with the router. I tried tight moving the clamp and tightening it up a little bit, and I actually snapped the clamp. Um, I made the clamp the wrong way. I'm going to do a video on how I make my clamps, and I'll talk about that during that video, and I'll link that one down below as well. I love the new bed. I recommend it. I suggest you get one. They're expensive. If you want to upgrade your bed, it's pretty cool. If you're in a damp environment, it's great. I got to say, when I was in the house doing it, it was not an issue for me. If I still had this in the house or in a climate controlled setting, I may have gone with the T-Track bed. I, I kind of jealous of the T-Track system. It looks really nice. It looks like it'd be a great way to clamp things down. But I do like my clamping options with the uh, aluminum bed. All right, guys. Let me know if you have any questions about the aluminum bed. I think it's a great upgrade. I think it's going to be well worth the money. I will let you know what I think as I do more videos and more projects with the aluminum bed. Questions, comments down below. Remember, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.